Hey guys, welcome back to NFT Inspo. For today's video, we are going to show you how to fix oops look like this page is lost error in host stinger. So if you're interested, let's start the tutorial. Now currently having this issue can be kind of problematic and frustrating, but the great thing about this one is Hostinger actually has an article for you to actually fix this. So let's go ahead and start looking at it. So there are going to be some common reasons here why you are having this error here and some fixes they could actually do here. So first is going to be their domain propagation. Now if you just register a new domain, it might take up to 24 hours for the domain to fully propagate across the internet. So if you're seeing this error right after registering, give it a bit of time here. Next is domain not added to hosting. Now, make sure your domain is properly linked to your hosting plan. If you haven't added your domain or added the domain to your hosting account, you need to do that. Check your hosting, your hosting provider's instructions for adding a website. Now, one of the other reasons here is incorrect URL. First, double check that you've typed the URL correctly. A small typo or incorrect domain name can easily lead to a 404 error. So, Another thing or another uh, cause of this issue is through their SSL issues. Now, if your site is supposed to use HTTPS, a secure connection, make sure SSL is installed correctly. Also, ensure that there's no mixed content issues where some parts of the site are still using HTTP. Also, one of them is going to be H or in this case, missing content. The page or content you're trying to access might have been removed or deleted. So if that's the case, you might need to update links or restore the missing content itself. Next is going to be cache content. Now, sometimes your browser or local DNS might be showing out its content. So try clearing your browser's cache to see if that resolves the issue. And in here, well, finally, is going to fall and directory permissions. So, incorrect permissions on your files or directories can cause 404 errors. So, check that your permissions are set up properly or correctly. Look up instructions how to fix file permissions if needed. Now, also, if you're using WordPress, there are a few additional things you need to check, like permalinks. So, sometimes permalinks can be broken. Try resetting them by creating them again in the WordPress settings. And also, HT, uh, that, the HTA access file so check your that hd access file for any redirect rules that might be causing a 404 error if needed replace it if we default uh ht access file here and also plugins so create uh cre certain plugins might cause 404 errors so, so temporarily disable your plugins to see if one of them is the culprit of this issue and that's about it so hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to nft inspo thank you for watching